Okay then, you lovely people. A little quick tip for you now on how to correctly put line onto your reels. Um, the easiest way is to thread your line through your rod, uh, strip the line back to a minimum on the spool. If you see there, I've hardly got any line in it whatsoever, and then just attach the line that way. But if you put it on a brand new spool, uh, straight out of the box, the best way is to get the spool line and just put one of these knots in it. What's it called again, Rich? A half twisted blood knot, grinner, reef knot. What is it, mate? Uh, blood knot. A blood knot. So all I've done, I've twisted round five times there. I'm gonna get the tag end, put it through the big loop, and then I'm gonna put it back through the little loop that that's created. Always with all knots, always make sure you moisten it. Now what I do with that is put that onto the spool and you'll see that will slide down. So I can trap that against the spool and all I'm gonna do is just trim that little bit of line off there. So that's how I'd do it if it was onto, onto the spool itself with no line. But as I say, it's easier doing it this way if you've got a bit of line on. So the line that I wanna put on is 0.18, so I'm gonna get a bit off there. All I'm gonna do is make a loop in the, the spooler line. Okay, made a little loop in there, and I'm gonna get the old line and put it through that loop. And I'm gonna do that same knot again that I've just shown you, that big one, but I'm gonna make it obviously a lot smaller. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna put it through that loop bring it back round and put it back through that one. Moisten it, and then that'll slide right back down to the, to the new line. And then I'm gonna reverse it, twist it back round that way, and just do exactly the same thing again. Nice and easy. So, make that big loop again, go around five times. Go through that big loop, which is there, and then come back through that loop. Lots of loops, isn't there? Lots of little loops to get involved with and pull that line back through, moisten it, and then pull it pull it back. So you see now them lines are attached together, with that little knot. Now obviously, we don't want these big tag ends on because if you left them on the spool when you cast in, they'd impede your cast. So we're gonna trim them right back. Now, see how good my teethies are. So that's that one, and that's that one done. Just give them a bit of a, a bit of rub together so them tag ends are sort of going right down. And that's them two lines attached. Now. If you were doing it at home, get yourself a bucket of water, put the spool of uh, line into the water and just wind it on that way. But we're not at home, we're next to, uh, to a lake here today at Larford. So all we can do is just waddle down this bank a little bit, chuck it in Jay's peg. Now bearing in mind there's 300 meters on this, uh, on this spool, so it's not gonna get wasted. And all I'm gonna do, you see that line, is just going on that spool nice and neat now. All that water is sort of like cleaning that line as well. And the line lay is very important. You've got to make sure there's no sort of lumps or bulges in it. It's going on lovely and smooth. Um, it's just an easy way, as I say, of putting that line on. The most important thing is that you get that line right to the lip of that spool. What I don't want to do is sort of like stop it there. So I've still got another few mil left on that. And again, all that's going to do is impede your casting. The other thing as well, make sure you tighten your drag right up. What you don't want to happen is for that to start clicking when you, once you're line, um, winding the line on, because it'll twist up, and we don't want that. We want it to come off nice and smooth off the spool. So we're nearly getting there now. You can see that spool's just in the edge. So we can get that out, no bother. It's only right shallow there. It's only about 10 inches. So we can get that out easy. We're coming right to the lip. I'll come and show you all how, how far I've gone up in a sec. It's looking very nice, that. A little bit more. What you don't want to do is overfill it. If you overfilled it, it's going to tangle on your casts. You know, sometimes putting new line on, when you go to make them first few casts, that's when you're going to get your problems with your tangles and everything. I'll just have a quick feel of that with my finger. If it's nice and smooth all the way up, cheeky. If it's nice and smooth, then that's perfect. And that is perfect. So what I'm going to do is go back, get the spool of line, which we've got there, and I'll come and show you. We're getting close in, Rich. We're getting close in, mate. Can you see? You see how that line is nice and continuous up there, and when I put my finger over it, it's nice and smooth. So that the line, when I'm casting out, um, it, there's not going to be any friction off the lip of that spool there. It's going to be nice and perfect, and that's bedded in lovely. Ready for me to go and catch some great big wobbly fish. Isn't that right, Jay? Go and smash it some, mate. Oosh.